this is a of this I'm all festival. I've seen, I've seen people taking the money. Yeah. But the money is for the gods. Uh, but the money is the, for the gods. But the power, the power, they have removed the power already. Uh, yes. Sunday and chill, man. Not Netflix and chill. Sunday and chill. Chill Thank with you, what? Barbecue. barbecue. Eh. Ah, why? You finished the till already? Ah. <laughs> hey, yo. What am I at? Shows Africa. Maria, Tunisia. Charlie, what's up, man? They can't chew my chicken song. <laughs> you know the song? What am I? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. This is my track, oh. A viral song, man. It did everywhere. iTunes. You guys, you know they try give me crowd. Oh, why? Oh. Why? What, what did they talk? Oh, what's up? Yeah, yeah, like you say, a day, yeah, if I play my tracks, give them man. Oh, you be, you be a musician? Musician from Accra, Ghana. You feel from Accra, Ghana? Oh, man, it's what? Way, you this young. Hey! Yeah, bro, my, my track is. Hey! hey. Yeah. How, no, make a check. Oh, How many? Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. More day self. More day self. You know, I say they do music. Oh, Chala, I'll go no. Yeah, make a play one of my tracks, give you. No. Before you, you know, play, right now with the just give us freestyle. freestyle. Because right now I'm in the mood of listening to what Maya. We can't spoil our mood. So, so if you give us song where it'll be better, we will slap you, man. Music. Sorry, just no, slice no, slap, no. man. Not too much. <laughs> no, give us freestyle. Kind of. oh, freestyle. Go ahead, freestyle. They say patience is a virtue. They love me, I let you. I've been waiting all night long. Hey, 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 Hey. 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 Oh, you, you mean it's your own song? 
This one be better. Turn. One more time, see this one. Hey. Come on, let's go. Hey. 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 Yo. Hey. Oh, Charlie. See. Hey. No, is it, is it? What? Place your hands above my hey, shoulder. Hey. <laughs> no, hey, don't place your hand on my shoulder, man. Hey. Don't place your hand on my shoulder, bro. You're going too far, man. <laughs> Yo. Charlie, the music, the music. Charlie, the style. We are vibing with the superstar. <laughs> superstar. <laughs> You should say this be your own song. My track needs Airman Sweet one by one. One by one? Yeah. I can find this song everywhere. On, on all, all streaming platforms, on YouTube, nice. everywhere. But this should be a viral song, man. Tell it. I mean, it's out there. People are listening to it, but obviously someone like me can help take it to... Play it again, play it again, play it again, play it again. Play it again. You have to start, 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 start. From the beginning. Whoa! See, I live in Ghana, but I've never heard this song before, man. I'm so sorry, bro. One I'm so one. sorry, man. I'm a and you're a Ghanaian, eh? Ghanaian. Born and raised in Ghana? I'm a Ghan. Accra from Accra, Ghana. Hey! Born and raised in Ghana. Ghan. Ghan. You speak Ghan? Do you speak Ghan? <laughs> me, I really want to be sure that this song is yours, man. Because yeah. I feel like you're super talented, bro. Thank you, thank and, you. And um, I just want to know, how long have you been writing songs? Uh, I've been making music for like three or four years now. Yeah. But you look young, man. Three I'm or four 18, years. I'm 18 now. But hey. then I started playing piano at the age of five. And since wow. then, my musical journey has just continued. That's amazing, I've been doing man. music professionally about three or four years. I would love to know you more, bro. Yeah, Charlie, we should get to know each other more. Definitely, too. man. You have time? I have all the time. You have all the time, man. All the time. I mean, um, give me time. Let me speak to you, bro, because I all really right. want to know more about all what right, you I do. Yeah. 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 Right. Think I found myself right now. Think I found myself right now. Like the way your sweet and sour. Bring it over, bring I really want to know what's the inspiration behind your music. Um, honestly, I'm inspired by a lot of things on a daily basis. Like, it literally, it could be anything around me, but. Um, most of my songs have been love songs because you know, I'm a young age. Hey, <laughs> no, no. hey, hey, it's like I'm a, I'm a young age, yeah. Uh huh. You know, we're constantly building friendships and you know, going through normal teenage procedures, you get me? So, yeah, love is all part of it. And, but aside that, I write about other things like um, family, my aspirations, or uh, you know, just things which. I'm curious about. I want to get more. About. So I'm a buyer from ATA King. Chop with us to get to your green. And we can get it so big in. Girl, I want you to be. I'm now a huge fan, man. <laughs> give me one of my no no no. Nah, 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 nah. Baby, I give it to you. See, I just listened to a song and I can sing some few sentences, man. Yeah. Next week when you meet me, I'll be singing from head to toe, bro. But <laughs> But mm -hmm. let, let me know, I mean, like, you live in Ghana? Um, yeah, I live in Ghana. I was born and raised here. And how many Ghanaian musicians have you ever collaborated with? Um, so far, about two, three or, f two or three or so. Mm. And um, an international feature as well with Navio from Uganda. But as I said, I'm still growing, you know, there's still greater heights to climb and I'm looking forward to work with more people collaborating and just building myself, my craft as a whole. I believe that the future is so bright Amen. for him and sweet, man. Amen. Keep going. Don't Thank stop. You, I mean, the songs that I've heard today, I believe that in the next five years when I see you, I need to ask you for autograph, autograph man. <laughs> Please, let me have that autograph no before way. next five no years, way. man. Because no I, I believe um, very soon the whole world will be jamming to your music, man. Um, you have anything to tell your fans? Um... I mean, for the people out there, just stay tuned for more from him and Suede. Follow me if you don't already. And I mean, yeah, stay tuned for more. Listen to my music already available on all streaming platforms. It's him and Suede. That's H-E-R-M-A-N dollar sign U-E-D-E. 
But you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. But you are, you're from Accra now. Anything happening in Accra today? Yeah, yeah, you're around. How long are you around for? Like, I have like three more days to go, man. Three more. Um, you, the, I'm gone, right? I'm from um, Jamestown. Okay. Right? My mom's from Jamestown and my dad's from Nungwa. So I'm Ga, and every year we celebrate this thing. It's called Homowo. Oh. Yeah, Homowo Festival. Homowo so, Festival. I mean, if you're, if you're free, I, I would love to take I, I would love to film Homowo yeah. Festival, man. Yeah. Just take me there and yeah, let's I go enjoy Homowo. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy Homowo for the first time, man. If you're ready, like the video, go to his YouTube channel, go stream his music, and make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel. It's very important, man. Trust me, get to know him now, so that when you blow in five years' time, you will say that what Amaya did not tell you. <laughs> you know what? Come with me as we go enjoy the Homoho Festival. by telling us who the people are. Okay. All right. Um, who are the gun? Who are the gun people? And um, just before I say anything, you'd hear gunshots in the background. It's part of our customary right and part of um, celebrating Homo War, which is happening today in Gamashi in Accra. Now, the gun people. Who are the gun people? The gun people are supposedly supposedly have. Uh, migrated from the shores of Lake Chad, according to some of the history. Um, some Ghan people might have you believe otherwise, and they kind of trace the Ghan people from Israel. But I take my story from um, the shores of Lake Chad and came through northern Nigeria, southern Nigeria, Benin, Togo, and, and they finally ended up in Accra. Now, I'll talk about uh, along the way, people stopped in Nungwa, some stopped in uh, uh, Aneho, so there are some Ghan people in Aneho, some stopped in Aneho. You know Aneho in Togo? In Togo, yes. There are Ghan people there. At the moment, we're in Franklin Lodge in Otubluhun. And um, Franklin Lodge is. Um, was built by the Portuguese. It was a Portuguese trading post. This thing you see here was a Portuguese trading post. And obviously, uh, if, you, if you say, if you, anytime you talk about a trading post in Accra and on the, coast, uh, on the shores of the Gold Coast, then you know that it would involve slavery. So slaves were bought and sold here. According to the history. Now, um, the, where we are now is called the Tubluhun, like I said before, and this is where freed, interestingly, freed Brazilian slaves were, were resettled when, when they, they, they were freed from Brazil. Uh, the story goes that seven ships came, some stopped here, some stopped in Togo, some stopped in Benin, and some, uh, the last people went to Nigeria. What is there now? What are they building? It's a market. It's a market. Yeah, it's no, a market. It's still a market. It's, a, it's, still a, market. Days, it was a, it's a slave market. market. Yeah, yeah. We get That's some underground the there. If you are taking you, you pack that through that other gun before. Be, so in the morning you don't know where you are. They are just keep you under the ground. It's not a slave market again. It's Salaga market. Salaga market. Salaga market. In Nigeria they are called Agadu. They're Gadu people. Now you'd hear names like D'Souza, Peregrino, Nelson, Azuma Nelson is uh, of uh, Tabon stock. They're called the Tabon people here in Accra because um, when they came, they spoke Portuguese and Tabon means it's okay. Now, uh, I think uh, now we need to know since that 
different people that forms um, yeah. the guns. Mm -hmm. We want to know why Homo and what is Homo all about. So the story about Homo war, you know, Homo war in Ga uh, literally means loot, a uh, hooting at hunger. So the story goes that one time there was a big famine and then they went to consult the oracle. That's according to the stories that we, we, we know. They went to consult the oracle somewhere in Obutu or something, you know. You know, the Gar, the Gar space, they call it from, from Obutu to Adan. That's the Gar space. Yeah. So they went to consult the oracle and the oracle told them what to do. And once they, they had a big bumper harvest, they told them what to do. And what they had to do was that they, they had to cook this special meal and, and eat till they can eat no more. So the name Homo Wo means hunger tomorrow. Homo means hunger. Wo is tomorrow. But my take is that if tomorrow never comes, then we shall never be hungry. So today is the day where we cook and we eat and we eat and we eat. So you've been to the house, there's food, you're gonna eat later. Mm -hmm. And we invite people to come and join us to eat. It does, you don't have to be gone. You don't have to be, uh, 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 just gone. You can come from everywhere. You're invited to our table to eat with us because we are, you're also helping us to hoot at hunger and eat till we can eat no more. So that tomorrow, and, and if tomorrow never comes, then we're not going to be hungry. But the Ghana people are fishermen and they're farmers. So the food we grow is corn and then we fish from the sea, yeah. right? So we grow the corn and then we, we have the palm, the palm from the farms. Yeah. So we make the abenkwa, which is the ngmewonu. We call it ingme wonu. I'm using the tree and the ing and the ga, yeah. the palm nut soup, which we make. And the palm, the palm tree is literally like the tree of life, yeah. you know, because you, after you got the flesh, you got the oil, you can get the uh, the kennel from the uh, you know the fruit from the kennel, mm. which you make uh, uh, oil. You get oil out of it. The kennel is used by the uh, goldsmiths to make fire, right? Because it's very hard, the shells, right? And then and then you get palm uh, palm wine from the tree. Mm, and yeah. then you get the akoknu too from the soup. So the palm, palm tree is a very versatile tree. And we make the soup and we make the, uh, the soup. Most of the, 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 uh, the is fish, mainly used to mainly fish. These days they add some cow foot and they add some meat. But in the, in the households it's, it's mainly fish. The fish comes from the sea and the, 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 the others, others comes from the farms. So that's what we call pokpui, which is corn corn that is steamed, ground and steamed, and then you add some palm oil, which makes it yellow, uh, which makes it yellow, and then you eat it with, uh, with uh, uh, the palm, palm uh, soup. I, I, I saw um, the king uh -huh. and, uh, sprinkling. sprinkling the you you saw, and yes. What does that mean? So, so, you know, like you pour libation, who do you pour libation to? To the gods. To the gods, to the, to the spirits, yes. So the same thing that the, the, the chief would 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 sprinkle quickly around. When you go here, you'd find some of it is at the door. Mm. So the so it's not just a chief. So in the gun household, the, the head of the house, whether being male or female, would also sprinkle some quickly in the household once it's is ready before they eat. So you also sprinkling to the spirits, to the um, to the ancestors, to the elders who have gone. But there's another story, they say we also sprinkle some for the birds to eat. <laughs> so the birds will also get some quick way to eat. So, so how, how many days does Homo War go on for? Because um, hmm. I know it's a... It, it, it is, it's not just yesterday. Yesterday you were here to, twins to for the Twins Festival and then there's today. And then there's tomorrow as well. So, so there are various days of Homo War. Uh, during the week, other things happen. So uh, yesterday you came to the Twins Festival. The Twins are very important in the Ga uh, culture and, and in African culture, really, because you know what? We say that it is said that it's only animals who have multiple births. So if a human has multiple births, they're special. In certain cultures, they are, they are, not, they are not so special. But in our culture, is, 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 having twins is very special and, and we celebrate people who have twins. But, but you know, um, over here is, is very important 
and part of the part of it is they go and um, consult the spirits of the twin. The twin spirits are, are bush cows, and they're, they're supposed to consult the spirit and ask the spirit. They ask them if they want to have the ritual done for them. So yesterday, for instance, I was in a twin household where the women meet and they make uto, you know, uto yeah, yam yeah. with the egg, which is a special food. It's the special food for the gods. So even on your birthday, they make you uto. As for me, on my birthday, if you don't make me uto, there will be trouble. So you have to make me uto so the spirit comes down on me. So yes, so that I can be myself. That my birthday, I have to have uto, right? And yesterday, I had uto for the twins. And once they prepare the uto, they bring in uh, all the stuff, the, the peel and everything is put in a bowl. They put some, uh, they might put some sea water, they might put some uh, uh, alcohol on it, and then uh, some nyanyira, and then it's, it's carried by someone to yeah. go and throw away. There's a whole, and yesterday maybe you saw them, Sorry, yeah. you saw them going, and they're going to throw it away at the, uh, at the lagoon. The uh, at the lagoon, not at the shrine, at the lagoon. They go and throw it away at the lagoon. They can come to you, right? If they are taking it, and the spirit is controlling them, they can come to you and pour the water on you. So you have to be triple careful of yourself. Yeah. So, so you have to dodge when the top uh, Maybe you can hold it like this. Now if you do like this, you take like it to eat times. you three times. Then you go. So what if they pour it on you? What will uh, happen? What, nothing will happen. He has poured it on you. People put money in, in, in and sometimes coins and stuff. And sometimes the children follow, and then once they throw it away, they can go and pick up the money. So I, I want to know that why is it that they come all the way to this place to? Uh, uh, as you can see, the, the, the shrine is here, and the Kalewe shrine is here, and this is the place they all come to pour their leaves. And I, I, I will tell you from the beginning that if you need something from your life, or you are in pain, anything at all, or you want that to uh, channel through the goals. Whatever you ask them, they will do it for you. Maybe you, you haven't born, you want to born. You pour liberation, and you bring, some people bring much more. And they get the answer, right? So that's the way we are doing. Don't you see, if they kill, they, they kill the fowl and the goat, they put some of the, the and whatever, and the yam. They'll, they'll cast the first one and they'll put it in. And they'll suck the leaves all. And they'll come and pour it here. Wow. Even the, uh, the water to, when you pour a vibration and you give money, you take some three times, you bat three times, and whatever I, I, you I've want. Seen, I've seen people taking the money. Yeah. But the money is for the gods. Uh, but the money is the, for the gods, but the power, the power, they have removed the power. Already. Uh, yes. Oh. So they can take it. Yeah. And it's good that they are taking it. Because if nobody takes it and they leave it, it seems like. Uh, you don't want what they are doing. So the people will fight about it and run it and they, are, they will be fighting. This one will take this, this one, and so on and so forth. But it's part of the Homowa ritual, that the twins ritual, which happens before. So twins are celebrated on the Friday before the Ghana Homowa. You know, and twins are, are, are spiritual. The spirit is working very well, very, 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 very well. Yeah. I so, the, the twins, in Nigerian culture, the, the twins, the, the first one that comes out is the younger one. The second one is the older one in Nigerian culture. So they say that the first one is sent to go and see if it's okay. If it's okay, it comes to call the, the yeah, other yeah. twins and say, come, let's go. But in Ghana culture, the first one is the older, the second one is younger. Yeah. So while we were walking around, um, we could hear the greeting, Afio. Afio, Afi, Afi yeah. is here. Yeah. So, so for the Ghana people, this is, a, this is the end of our year, yeah. Yeah, right? So September is the beginning of our new year. So after, at the end of all of this, next week is going to be Osu. After that, it's going to be La, it's going to be Teshi, and then it's going to be Nungwa. And then, and then the Homo is over. And then it goes to Ningo and Pram Pram all the way, they all celebrate Homo Ho. So, so by the end of September, I, by the end of August, September starts the new year for us. So the new year, that's the Ghana new year. Now, after all of this, tomorrow, we go back and we go to our family homes again, and then we go and do the last ritual. It's called Ngowala, which is a seek life. Because mainly Homo Ho is the homecoming where everybody comes home. So this year, 
the tomorrow, when tomorrow, on, on, on to, uh, tomorrow when people come back, they say, oh, this year, we, last year we had blah, blah, blah. Today is not here. So we, we, it's not like we're striking the name of our, but, but we're saying, okay, he's gone. Yeah. So who came last year, who's here? It's like a roll call. So the next year we shall all be here again. So when we say Afi, Afi, we're saying like a happy new year. Oh. Happy new year. That's what it is to say so it, happy. Like I want to know, saying Happy New Year, which year are we in right now when it comes to the Gabon? <laughs> yeah, we are in, we are in a, a, the new year starts in September. Last time. We are in 20... 20 so now it's 2020. We are not dealing with 2020, 2021. So September like, starts our new year. September 2021 is our new year, Wodemai. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much.